Welcome to part two of our video series where we are upgrading a brush to a brushless motor in a one-tenth or one-twelfth scale RC vehicle. Uh, please be sure to check out the other videos. Part one is where I actually uh, show you the overview of the system that we're using and in part three we actually put it to the test. Okay, we're going to start this installation by first taking the old ESC and motor out of my Traxxas Stampede. We need to remove the small receiver cover, taking out the two 2mm two hex head screws on the side. Next we'll remove the large receiver cover, taking out the two 2.5mm two hex head screws on the side. Finally, that will expose the receiver. Disconnect the servo cable from the receiver and feed it out of the receiver box. Disconnect two power wires running from the old brushed ESC to the motor. Remove the two Phillips screws from both sides of the ESC and then remove the ESC. We need to remove the gear cover, but first let's remove the right rear tire to make that easier. I like to rest the axle on the tire just to hold up the rear of the vehicle. Remove the two Phillips screws on the gear cover on the top and the bottom. Then remove the gear cover. Now we can access the pinion gear. Mine looks a little rusty. I need to clean it with a wire brush and lube it with some WD-40. Loosen the 1.5 millimeter hex scrub screw on the pinion gear and slide the gear off the axle. Now you can see there's two Phillips head screws holding in the motor. One right there and one right there. Go ahead and unscrew these. You want to loosen the screws until the motor comes out on the other side and then finally the motor should come loose. Now since I have this taken apart, I'm going to clean it up and spray the metal parts with some WD-40. The WD stands for water displacement and it will displace the water so it doesn't rust your parts. Okay, so we're going to solder the blue, yellow, and orange wires labeled A, B, and C to the same labels on the motor. Solder the battery connector of your choice to the red and black wires. I like to pretend the connections first. I'm using Dean's connector. You can install the male Traxxas connector if you want to stick with Traxxas. Cut some heat shrink and slide it over the red and black wires. Pretend the red and black wires. Solder the wires onto the battery connector. Slide the heat shrink onto the connection and heat it. Okay, now that I have my motor connected to my ESC, I'm going to go ahead and install the motor into the back here. I'm going to reattach these two screws here again on the side. I didn't have any problems with the screws fitting, but sometimes it's a little tricky to get the screws to meet the holes. You want to tighten them just enough to get them pretty snug but not all the way because we're going to make an adjustment after we put the pinion gear on and make them maybe make them a little tight and then back off just a little bit that way you have a little bit of movement so you can adjust that pinion gear and get it just the right distance away from that spur gear and make sure the motor shaft is moved away from that spur gear and then make sure you can see the flat part of the shaft and line that up with the little grub screw on the pinion gear. You can see it slides on there pretty nicely. Snug that up. I'm going to line it up with the spur gear. And go ahead and snug that up. Okay, so now you see there's still some movement here between my spur gear and the pinion gear. Okay, we got to set the distance between the spur gear and the pinion gear. So what you want to do is cut a small piece of paper about this size that will fit right between those two gears. I'm 
put the piece of paper between the two gears and then push the motor up against push the um, two gears close to each other so that they're touching hold it in place then tighten the two screws a little bit more try moving the the gear there with the paper in between it and tighten it the rest of the way nice and snug the paper should just roll right out it's normal to hear this grinding noise on a brushless motor now it's time to put the gear cover back on and reattach it with the two Phillips screws when the tires off I like to store the wheel nut on the axle so I don't lose it you can reattach the wheel now you want to plug in your sensor cable into your motor and plug the other end of it into your ESC figure out how you want to root it root the cable figure out where you want to mount the switch cut a small piece of double sided tape for it stick that on the switch and then push the switch against the truck to mount it. Then you want to scrape off the label from the bottom of the ESC because we're going to be putting some double sided tape on it. Figure out where we want to put this ESC. I think I'm going to put mine right about there. So I'm going to cut out a piece of heavy duty double sided tape to put on the bottom. Stick that on the bottom and peel off the tape part. Place that where you want it. Now it's got this, uh, these capacitors hanging off of here. Um, I think I'm going to just let those hang for now. Maybe I'll um, attach those later uh, with some double sided tape so that they're not moving around. But they also need to make sure that they uh, stay cool so um, make sure you put it somewhere where it can uh, get adequate cooling now the first time you use your transmitter with your ESC you want to set the throttle range this sets the maximum and minimum throttle positions on your transmitter you want to first switch it to the reverse position for the throttle Okay, and you want to turn on your transmitter. And you want to make sure your ESC is turned off, which I have mine off. Uh, the off switch on this, by the way, is, a, is the um, direction away from the cable that it leads into it. Then you can go ahead and plug in your battery. Then you want to hit this little red button in front of the switch, which is called the set switch. You're going to hold that in, and then you're going to turn it on the switch. Watch the LED here. It's, it was red. Now it's just orange. Now I can let go of the set button. And then you want to take your transmitter. And what you're going to do is we're going to go all the way maximum throttle and then we're going to go all the way minimum throttle minimum braking you know maximum braking then we're going to pause we're going to go back to neutral okay and it's going to give us uh, a series of beeps for each one so okay we're going to do maximum throttle Wait. okay we got the beep now we're going to go maximum brake We got the two beeps, then we're going to let go of it, let it go to neutral, and we got the three beeps. All right, we're calibrated now. So we can go ahead, we can turn off the switch here. Turn off the transmitter and leave the throttle channel in the reverse position. Let's turn on the transmitter and ESC and give it a quick test. Don't forget to test your steering too.
Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do the programming for your ESC. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the switch off for your ESC. You want to plug in the battery. You can go ahead and turn on your ESC. Um, you're not going to have the throttle cable plugged into the receiver at this point because you're going to plug it into the uh, top of your programming card. There's two ports on the top of the card. You want to plug it into the port on the right and make sure you line up the black wire with the negative symbol. Uh, you'll notice there's another port on the top here on the left side. This is if you don't use a battery. You don't hook up a battery, but if you want to plug in an ESC, you can do that. Now you'll notice there's two um, numbers here, one on the left that says menu, the one on the right that says value. The number on the left, which is the menu, can corresponds to the different options that you can set. And you can hit, there's 10 different options on this speed controller. So if I hit this button right here, it'll cycle through all 10 options. And this value on the right called value is the actual setting for that option. So, for example, option number one has a value of three. Option number two has a value of two, and so on. To change an option, hit the value button to find the correct value, then hit OK to save it. Notice the LED blinks to confirm the save. Uh, now I can also look right at the bottom of the ESC here, and it tells me option number one is the cutoff voltage and it tells me the values for each number. Here are the options that you can set on the screen and the values for each. The cutoff voltage setting is important for protecting your LiPos from draining down too low. The running mode setting can disable reverse for competitions where reverse isn't permitted. Set the throttle limit to slow down the vehicle, which is useful for beginners. The drag brake setting can be useful for slowing your truck down when you let off the throttle. So once we're done programming it, make sure you click OK to save this setting after you've set it. Um, we can unhook this thing and turn off our ESC, plug this into the receiver and we should be good to go. Thanks for watching part 2 of the Brushless Mudder video series. Be sure to check out part 3 where I put it to the test, racing head to head using the same truck using the stock motor. And part 1 where I do the unboxing and overview.